Good morning. We have a breakfast time. It's my chineko kohane. And surround us just like this. Yo, what's up? Good morning from Berlin, Germany. We are right now next to the checkpoint Charlie, which is the area sector of America in Berlin here. Uh, just here was the checkpoint whenever you were trying to cross the border to going to East Germany you have to cross one of the few checkpoints in the West Berlin and then just over there there are the ruins of the Berlin Wall uh, well everybody should hear about the Berlin Wall so we actually at the border like of the West uh, Berlin which this one which was obviously poorer versus the uh, richer versus the poorer on the East uh, Berlin so we're gonna go right now here to show you a little bit of the history but let's have a look also of the checkpoint uh, checkpoint Charlie looks uh, like this one so this is the entrance exit that was the border that was the Berlin Wall actually going some over there and this is the US Army uh, checkpoint actually uh, Charlie checkpoint a lot of people coming here to making the pictures in short that was the West Berlin which was the um, European well, rich part of Berlin and that's the East Berlin it was the well uh, communist part of the Europe at that time and was just simply Pura and the Berlin Wall was existing here up to 1989 look at this bicycle <laughs> uh, so we are going to see the Berlin Wall, black box called wall. This is like a lot of history here in Berlin. Oh wow, what I can say that this place is a very touristy and surround me there are lots of lots of tourists coming and it seems like um, I don't know, I just feel like <laughs> it's very very hard to understand in my brain. It was you like know? very darkish times in the in Europe at that time in general especially here in Berlin and in Eastern Europe that's and why we have to show you a little bit around and show you a little bit of the pictures of the uh, well Cold War times all right so we were there before as you see that on the top is the picture of the American uh, army and I'll show you 360 degrees so you can have a clear image about what's going on here and basically this one is the black box cold war and it's just like the wall of history as you see that this is the picture long long time ago in 1963 and the turning point of the cold war 1963 this is like a you know the wall of the history it's and this is like the road 1961, 1989 and right so this is actually um, so many historical things so many graffitis right so now let's get inside and learn more about historical yeah, let's see things. the wall a little bit left this is like a, um, a little bit of the open uh, museum like but there is piece of the wall actually so there's like everywhere around if you look actually you can find uh, so much history how does it look like before how was actually checkpoint charlie we're looking you can see on the front of us actually over here i will zoom it for you that was the checkpoint charlie on the one side was the west germany an European free Europe and on the other side was the communist one and that was like East uh, Germany East Germany and well East Berlin actually the half city was divided uh, so a lot of a lot of history that was the piece of the Cold War this is the museum and let's get uh, to the front of us here that was the piece of the wall so that was the wall we're looking like this one literally uh, as you can see it was pretty tall concrete i'm 185 centimeters tall so you have a perspective how tall it was and it was impossible to destroy it by the anything like a hammer or anything by that so you have to have a special machine to destroy it and it was 153 or 156 kilometers long wall crossing the half of berlin into divided into two pieces like this one no chance to jump over it 
wow. so pretty sad actually and, and on the other this. side it's like a history how they were demolishing it in 1989 in november 9 10 november of 89 very important year for many people in germany but also in in general in europe especially in eastern europe so so this is it basically very important if you are coming to berlin definitely you have to come and visit this because this is one of the most important piece of history in europe in general modern history of europe right. because that was only like 30 years ago oh this is the one that damian always said you know that's the part of the west berlin right and that the part of the east berlin exactly which one is actually the communist one honey the east berlin was the communist one Oh. So the rule by the Soviet Union at that time. Oh, there's the map of Berlin, actually. Right. This is the map, right? Right. So the red line on the middle was the was the divide Berlin, just literally into half. And also on this side, you can see the difference. This was from the east side, where looking like this one, full of the graffitis and everything. But on the other side, it was just the plain, plain wall. On the other side, in simple words, in simple words, on that side of the Berlin, people were driving a nice Mercedes. On this side of the world, different, poorer cars, like Kalawada or any other other cars. Only imported cars from the same country, from the same city, were driving on this side. Pretty complicated, but that's how it was. So this is the map behind me, how it was divided. Berlin West Ber versus Berlin East. And people from Berlin West could go freely to Berlin East, but people from Berlin East, if they wanted to go to West Berlin and then go anywhere else, well, they have to have the special, special permission to enter this side of the city, even if it was the same city, uh, but two different countries like, and well, it was very, very dark time in Europe and in Berlin, especially at that time. Okay, enough of the history. Let's go more. Right, so we are actually the point. You are here. This is how it looks in 1961. I think in 1961 when my parents are born. Yeah, and there was the building the wall at that time. It was the year of the construction. Right, so actually this is a piece of history. Basically, and during this time, in 1961. Look at this one. It wasn't looked that optimistic at that time. Yeah. So, <laughs> I know that walking on this is just like throwing back to the memories. If you are born in this age, or if you are already 30s on this age, Sometimes, like listening or learning about history, for me personally, teach me how to appreciate, how to respect, and how to love. <laughs> yeah, and there is also on this map over there, I don't know if you can zoom it because there's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. There is like how the Europe was divided into half, together including the, the Poland. So that was the East Germany over here together with Leipzig and other cities. It was like a Soviet era. And then was the Western Europe. And unfortunately, Poland at that time was also in the you know, East part of the Europe. That's why we call it, many people call it Eastern Europe. However, Germany and Poland are Central Europe, together with Czech Republic. And Czech Republic with Slovakia was Czechoslovakia at that time. Now they are two separate countries, two different countries actually. All right, so the thing is that you are definitely have to be in Europe so you can feel and you can experience something, authentic experience like this, right, Kohanyi? Right, and also it's like, Mm, Berlin is about this one is very important because um, you know the demolition of the wall was in 1989 in November so actually I was born in 92 three years after it you saying actually we were born three months after that because you are born in January 20, 1990 so it was three months after that but my parents and your parents era that was existing and I has uh, uh, my step grandfather was uh, grandpa and grandfather and grandmother was coming from Hamburg actually well they were born in Poland next to my mama house actually and they moved to hamburg because they were german which that part of poland was german actually at that time so they were coming visiting me and my family for many many years and previously before i was born 
so I heard a lot of a lot of stories how it was actually pretty difficult to to move later for the first time to Germany and later crossing the border each time they wanted to come to Poland. So it's like a lot of a lot of history actually. And just in case, yes, I was in Hamburg also already, but uh, a few times, but a long time ago. So I still remember the checkpoint on the Polish-German border because the uh, Schengen area was just from 2004. So for then over 14 years was also the checkpoints on the border between Poland and Germany, when also the German border has changed. Uh, so it's a lot of history. But yeah, this is Europe. You have to come here and experience it. But whenever you are in Berlin, definitely you have to come to this place or many other historical places like this one. Where is the wall? Because that's 150 kilometer long wall dividing whole Berlin and very big piece of Germany, actually. Okay, let's go to the very important gate right now. It's also cool. So actually, as you see on the screen, there are so many students are here. I think having a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you learn the history, right? So behind, I think this is how it looks long time ago. And look at this. What is it, honey? The yeah, the Soviet, Soviet Union uh, souvenirs for some reason. Right. I don't know why, but uh, they're right. selling like a tourist attraction, perhaps. Ooh. Well, we will be like not really into buying this stuff, but uh, they're still selling it. And the fans of the other part, you know. Here is also like uh, in English, if you had been in this very place just over 30 years ago, you may have been shot. You are standing at the border strip that separated the former East and West Berlin. Can you imagine what life must have been like with the four meter high wall and almost 70 meter wide depth strip right on your doorstep, the 16 meter high 360 installation by Berlin artist, you know, whatever his name is in the middle of this former border zone takes you on a journey 30 years into the past because the further information at the entrance so it's like a museum but literally actually i forgot to mention some time ago you could get shot here if you just try to cross this border without the permission so that was actually pretty scary times in europe oh i already got a okay. goosebumps <laughs> when well, i listen it about was like that, that. In some places, the wall was, of course, uh, broken, or they were like, uh, you know, between the blocks of uh, concrete. You could see, so there's the picture how the kids from the Eastern Germany were looking through the, you know, little bit of the hall, what is looking like in Western uh, Germany. Also, in some places, they actually wanted to destroy the wall, but there was like, uh, you know, the metal thing inside, so you couldn't cross anyways. Sometimes people were crossing if they didn't got a, if they didn't got a shot on the way, of course. But uh, uh, yeah, OK, let's go to the Brandenburg and uh, Tor gate. That's also a very important place in Berlin to show you. You see more and more people coming, riding a bikes. This is just like how you feel the authentic experience of the Europe. Tourists watching tourists. <laughs> so yeah, this is actually the modern building and this one is the, I think the old decoration, uh, I mean old architecture. And that's the student basically, so we will go there. All right, so this is the Trabant Cars Museum. A uh, long uh, time ago, where uh, cars like this one were driving. Uh, there's also the limousine on the route of actually of the Trabant. My friend used to have a Trabant from Vaubz, Jarek, if you're watching it. Uh, yeah, some people are familiar with these cars. That's a piece of the history, actually, in general. Uh, I personally never drove one, but I know people love them. And this uh, one, the modern one. Uh, this is the <laughs> charger here. Penny. This is a, this is the new one. American, anyways. Fits to the to the Charlie checkpoint, anyway. Uh, okay, we are going to the Brandenburg Gate, which is forward, and we will film whatever we're gonna find. I look at this graffiti on the car, actually, on this Trabant. And also the Trabant, which is the car like this one, or what you saw previously, that was from East Germany production. That's what I mentioned as on the West Germany, they used to drive the Mercedes and BMWs and all of the stuff what we know from the German cars. But on East Germany, they drive the Trabants, perhaps, or any other different Soviet cars. Okay, uh, and also there is the piece of the wall, what I think it's originally here was, but also if not, there is huge wall of the Berlin Wall, what's still left. Let's get closer and show you. So we are actually uh, on the eastern, uh, star, eastern part of the Berlin. And you can see actually at the front of me, there is the big side of the wall, 
uh, Berlin Wall, what still exists here. They keep it as the memory. Uh, so it was like this one. So now nowadays it's just like the place where people can visit and learn the history you it's see. It's like an exhibition, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah. behind that, that is the wall, actually. So let's glo get closer and feel how thick is the wall. And it was how many kilometers, honey? 153. 150 kilometers with this kind of wall. Right. Let me touch. Oh my goodness. That was very solid wall. This was very solid German concrete. So actually this one, you know, half of exhibition Berlin 1933, 1945 between propaganda and terror. So actually, this is a piece of history, like, you know, a long time ago how it was. And you can feel or you can hear that, you know, machine, basically. And this is how is the picture. And imagine that you live in this era. It's All right. so depressing, right, honey? So depressing. And we are going to this, to this wall, Brandenburgen Gate. It was very, very important uh, place in Berlin. Also, a lot of, a lot of political and historical things happened at the front of it. So we go now there. So this is actually how it was in 1944. Okay. And look at this. Wow. It's really, really recommended that if you really want to learn about the history, just come here and feel the authentic experience. So we were there basically and learn the history. You see that many of students coming here and next to it also another historical building. I don't know what's the building. And look at this one. Next to it is also another European style buildings. Beautiful. Okay, so this is how it is nowadays. Berlin changed into, you know, so many modern buildings around. It's not only the old architecture building, but also fancy one. So this is actually the famous uh, Potsdam, Potsdam Platz, uh, Potsdam or Platz, whatever you call it. However, it's like everything is here under the construction of some sort of like uh, things going on. This is the entrance to the subway. Uh, and we are going more and more straight to the very, very central location in Berlin, which is the Brandenburg uh, Gate, uh, where a lot of a lot of things were happening. But it's also too good to see and experience how's the modern Berlin looking like. A lot of cafes or little doggo sleeping next to the table, a little bit similar, like in the uh, <laughs> big, city <laughs> like in the, big city big life. Big city life. And this is actually a big city light because the bank of Potsdamer Platz, if I'm not mistaken, this is already like a very central Berlin. And of course, a lot of construction ongoing, a lot of students also on the street, a lot of people, big city life. But the amount of the construction ongoing somewhere around is ridiculous a little bit, but a lot, a lot. And let's cross the street, also crossing street life. How does it look like in Germany, like in the, any other big city life? In Europe, <laughs> safe. <laughs> We're not going to drive into you, but hot, hot. <laughs> right. That's how does it look like. Big city life. And also they have a more and more modern skyscrapers uh, time to time. And a lot of decorations like this one as well. <laughs> Everywhere. Right. One thing that I realized, why all the statues here are really authentic, showing how human is. <laughs> and now we are in the middle of Berlin. Berlin. Yes, so we'll go to the next one. You wanna call your mom? Just <laughs> you put coin and call your mom like old school, huh? Let's go, Kahaye. Is it working? I don't think so. Let's go. Let's I go. I don't know. Hodge, it doesn't Hodge. work. Let's go. Hodge, Hodge, Hodge. I'm actually interested about this building. So this one is the memorial to the murdered of Jews of Europe here. So basically, this is a graveyard, like. Well, memorial, but a lot yeah. of people are murdered. Anyways. And next to it is the Green Garden, Green Park. So let's go more further. And lots of students coming. 
uh, in general, it's also very nice weather today, by the way, we are working. We need wearing just the dress without anything, can you imagine It's that? my Bali dress, actually, so it's not that cold, it's not like uh, only polar bears living here. Exactly, because sometimes we have a, a comment, sometimes everybody thinks it's the only polar bears and we have to wear the, you know, like a jacket 24 by 7 because this is like a super cold but actually it's the 8 or 9 of april and it's around 27 degree and i to be honest i'm start feeling actually hot wind is just fine but uh, it's just warm you know what i mean and it's just beginning of april there's not even summer yet so so it's not like it's always only snow and cold right yes. So basically now we will go to that one. Ah yeah yeah, something like that. And look at the crowd. Wow. Wow. Very nice. So I think this is the best time to come to Europe. All right. So we arrive to the at the front of the Grand Grandenburger Tor or Brandenburger Gate, which is recently one of the biggest and the major tourist attraction in Berlin. I think it's the main attraction in Berlin actually, and the very like symbolic place in Berlin. Uh, overall, it's meaning of the freedom in general, but everything what is important or was important in Germany were happening actually at the front of this of this gate. Uh, recently, this is probably the biggest tourist uh, attraction point here. As you can see, tourists are everywhere. Everybody wants to have a picture at the front of the Brandenburger Gate. Uh, well, and this is it, actually, pretty cool place. And the weather is, of course, beautiful, so it's even better to explore and enjoy. But it's busy, I have to say that. And this is actually how it is around, you see, thousands of, thousands of people are coming here and it's, it's just amazing to see how it is. Beautiful. Waha! I'm in Berlin! Ta -ta -ta -ta. This is my dream come true and what I can say then, it's very crowded. Lots of lots of thousands of thousands of people coming here. Look at surround me. <laughs> so amazing. You have to definitely come here uh, to Europe, uh, especially to Berlin, to learn history authentically. This is a very uh, recommended. I'll show you the uh, 360 degree, actually how it looks. And even next to me is the very professional uh, you know movie making or something like that cameras cameras and then you know surrounded also with the modern buildings restaurant German Radler Berliner no, no this is the Gosser but this is nice how much it costs four euro but four next euro. to the Brandenburger gate oh. but it's so refreshing you so know cool. it tastes better than Bintang Radler you know right. <laughs> but yeah. good. and I show you around how it is actually Wow, wow, the thing is that they also have a very nice food truck here and people simply enjoying their time under the heat of sunshine. Actually, somebody is coming. We have the Mercedes, of course, BMW. I don't know, where is it? Oh, what flag oh. is this? Romanian? Ah. Oh. Must be some point. Well, this is capital city though. But not private person like in Bali. Huh? <laughs> not Hotman. <laughs> okay, let's go. Right, so actually this is already the modern buildings around and there are so many souvenir shops. But still with the European vibe. Look at the traffic and look at the road and look at the group of tourists. Wow. Right, so we decided to stop a while and have a look at the Volkswagen Museum here, right, and show you around. Cool. Right, so we keep walking and walking, look at the architecture of that building and look at the traffic basically. So this is it. How is the life? in Germany. 
Okay, so that one is the cathedral church that we went yesterday and that one is germ the tower and I'll show you 360 degree and this one is Humboldt University and then surround is the King Frederick statue and over there we were there it is yeah 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 something like that it's very hard to say for me the university oh yes this is the Humboldt University building wow wow amazing and it's very beautiful sunny weather warm and it's not that humid so the perfect time you exploring uh, German city what a beautiful architecture isn't it so it's very uh, European look very nice and this is the traffic situation during the rush hour and in front of me is the in statement Frederick's uh, something uh, and I'm just amazed with the architecture building wow and that's the history is actually over there if you walk there and you can read the history and the more we walk the more uh, beautiful things that's the cathedral that's the tower and that's I think we were there yesterday uh, and this one is the opera so yes amazing right so I think that's all our video from Berlin Germany so my first impression is that this city is unique in terms of you can find many things here and so yeah thanks for watching and see you next time from europe bye what's that policy score huh? is it like in bali <laughs> <laughs> i don't know but seems like similar right they have a nice bikes huh? oh must be important person coming i think so better keep filming huh? <laughs>